Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick tip on those elements which is getting disappeared the moment you try to inspect that. For example, let's see if you go to this particular search and if I search for the MacBook, number of suggestions are coming. The problem with these suggestions are that when you try to right click and then inspect that, I'm not able to inspect it. You see that number of suggestions are getting disappeared from here. It can happen with the you know search list also, drop down also or number of suggestions on Google search or maybe on some e-commerce application. It's uh, especially with the React application. You will see these kind of issues on the on the applications and then I'm not able to inspect it so that I'm not able to write the CSS selector or any kind of DOM structure or XPath. I'm not able to use that. So how to handle <clears throat> these kind of scenarios? So <clears throat> although I have already prepared a number of videos about that, there are other different techniques also. You can put a debugger or you can just handle it with the you know, some event listener also that also you can use it. There are a number of external tools also that also you can use it here. But here we are going to talk about one another trick which will work for any application. OK, so what you do, simple right click on it and go to inspect, open the DOM from here and uh, click on the elements. OK, make sure that okay you are in the DOM and you simply press Control Shift P. Or if you're using the MacBook, simple press Command Shift P inside the DOM, not on the browser. So click on the DOM anywhere and simple press Control Shift P or Command Shift P in the MacBook. And then you will see one run command window is coming here. And here you just need to write emulate a focused page you have to emulate. You have to enable this. So simple click on that and that's it. After that, see this again, I'm searching for the MacBook. And now if you try to inspect, it's not getting disappeared from here. I can simple search for MacBook M2, Air M1 or whatever. You see that this is particular span and then if I really want to write the export of CSS or anything, I'm able to see the full DOM structure of this, right? You can simply select, let's see, a MacBook Pro also, and then it's not getting disappeared from here. And then again, if I press Command Shift P once again, and then again, I'm writing emulate. And then it says, do not emulate a focused page. It means I really want to disable the emulation of a focused page. Again, I'm removing it, this option. Then again, if you try to inspect that, it will start disappearing from here. See, it got disappeared here. So if you have these kind of application, make sure that, okay, that uh, you just simple enable this particular option. It will be really, really useful. Simple search for emulate uh, focused page. And then after that, it will work. And that's it. It's only one time setting. After that, the moment you go to your application, you will be able to inspect it from here. You, I mean, you can just simple open this. Not able to inspect it directly from here, but at least now you can just moment inspect it from here. It is not getting disappeared and then you are able to do it properly here. Same thing, you can check it on this, let's see, this Zira dashboard. And uh, if I really want to, let's see, inspect that and I open this and then if I try to inspect that, see, it's not getting disappeared here. But if you do it without emulation, uh, without emulator focus page, if it is disabled, then the moment you try to inspect that, it will be disappeared from here. So here also it's not getting disappeared like this. Okay, so you don't need to use any other technique because I was getting a couple of email, uh, uh, suggestions and a couple of uh, uh, comments also in my previous videos where we have discussed about the same problem with other different solutions that it's not working or maybe uh, it's not working for a specific application or something like that. But this solution will work for any application. I have already tried it. So you also try it. If you're not able to do it, just put it in the comment section and let me know if you are still facing this particular issue. But this is a great solution. Just use it and uh, use this particular useful tip and share with others as well. So that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.